Using past lives to educate future professionals, Grand Canyon University is giving undergraduate anatomy students the chance to research and dissect human cadavers. ABC 15's John Genovese stopped by one of their new labs to learn more about this. We do want to warn you, this might be a little tough for some viewers to watch. So we don't want to pull on that. Huddling around tables, this is about as hands-on as it gets. You want to be precise and salvage everything that you can. For us, the sights and smells of Grand Canyon University's Human Cadaver Lab were nothing short of unique. When I was first starting off, I really didn't like it. But students like Tiffany Hansen say symptoms fade fast and things get serious. A senior now, she started working with bodies her sophomore year. I knew from that day on I was going to be in the lab a lot because it was so exciting. Using 18 cadavers as learning tools, there's a reason GCU allows undergrads, even freshmen, to swap textbooks and plastic models for the real deal. You're learning how to think clinically at the same time as discovering the anatomy. We don't want to loosen that up at all. Michael Bodine teaches the up to 300 students who pass through here each week. Giving them an opportunity to kind of earn their confidence as they approach uh, their application for medical school or PA school. Confidence, Bodine says, that's setting them apart for their next step. We need to find the triad of structures. And fostering research that will live on through the future. I actually got to kind of piece things together and figure out how this person might have died. John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. And GCU also hosts high school students in that lab several times a year. They work with an organization based out of St. Louis to acquire bodies that have been donated for education. About 20,000 Americans donate their bodies for medical research each and every year. For your 